Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem union of two arrays. So first, let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So basically, in this question, we are given two arrays. Let's say array 1 and array 2. Let's say it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And this array is 1, 2 and 3. First step is to find the union of the two arrays. Basically, union means that you need to find the elements which are unique in them. Now, for example, 1 and 1 is repeating in both of them. So, only 1 would come once. Okay. So, that means the union of this would be 1. That is That would only come once. Okay. 2, that would also come once. Then, 3, that would also come once. Now, 4 and 5 are unique over here. So, 4 and 5. Five. So basically this is the union of array 1 and array 2. Now in the union I can see that the count basically the length of the new array is 5. Right. So that is my output because the union has the value 5. So basically union has the value 5 that means in the union when I found the union of array 1 and array 2 I got 5 elements as a result. So the length is 5. I hope the question concept is clear to you. Now let's move forward to the solution part. Okay. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty choose basic. Okay. Then find the problem union of two arrays. Once you find the problem you need to click on solve. Okay. So let's solve the problem. Here is the question. Let's read it first. One minute let me scroll a little bit up. Okay, the question is given two arrays A and B of size N and M respectively. The task is to find union between these two arrays. Union of the two arrays can be defined as the set containing distinct elements from both the arrays. If there are repeaters, then only one occurrence of the element should be printed in the union. I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here. Okay, so let's code it. Step number one is to find the union, right? So C equal to A plus B. Okay, first add both the arrays. Then D equal to set. Okay, set would get only the unique values and even remove extra occurrences. Okay, of C. Then I need the length, right? I need the length. So return length. Length of what? Length of D. Okay, now I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay, so let's wait. Problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem union of two arrays. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.